Hello friends, welcome to this lecture uh, uh, practical uh, or hands on with uh, NiFi. Okay, so we will understand uh, 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 NiFi user interface and uh, then we will start uh, uh, practicing uh, some of the NiFi. Uh, we will try to de uh, develop a simple uh, data pipeline using a NiFi processor. Okay, so uh, this is this will be uh, like a, a user interface of your NiFi. So where you will have this uh, a components uh, uh, toolbar where you will have this is a processor and uh, uh, connections and processor group uh, other stuff and a template you can create a template uh, when you develop your data pipeline and this is a global uh, menu and you will have a search bar over here and this is a status bar of whenever you data pipe when your data pipeline nine runs so you will see all the status over here. And this is a, a operate palette and this is a navigate when you navigate between a different processor and connection you will see from where you are uh, operating uh, all this you will know so this is the canvas of the uh, uh, your knife eye where you develop all your drag and drop your uh, processor and connections and you build the data pipeline so this is a quick overview of uh, uh, the user interface so let's log on to our knife eye uh, uh, environment and we will understand uh, how, how it is uh, working other stuff so this is the url so uh, so uh, in our virtual machine we we know in the in the uh, we installed uh, knife on top of our cdh environment i actually explained to you that in uh, uh, my uh, environment setup videos you can follow up there and uh, so i i know i given how to start that knife also so uh, already knife uh, process is running so now you can just uh, take this url and uh, you can open it in browser so so it will open the uh, uh, nifi environment for you so what this is the canvas okay this is canvas area so what i am going to do in this uh, uh, video is basically i am going to uh, do, do the, give the simple uh, uh, data flow or uh, uh, data pipeline so we what we'll do is we'll take uh, uh, oh, uh, file from uh, one uh, directory and uh, place it in another directory. We just do simple one. We'll understand how it is working. So as I told you, this is a processor and this is the input port, uh, output port. If you uh, develop a, a processor group, this is a process group and uh, this is a remote processor group. This is a funnel and a template and label. Everything is there. Okay. So I take one processor. Okay. So uh, I told you when you drag and drop your processor it will it will it will give you all different types of processor so you can see here kafka processor is there aws related csv file so it's a many processor there like say example i will take uh, 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 one processor is uh, uh, get file so because we are going to get file from one location so this is a processor so as i told you process is like a module uh, configurable module so you can click double click on this and go to the properties so this is a I am giving an input file. So, from which location I am going to take is basically this is a, a source location. I am going to uh, put my file here. So, I take this is my source location. I place it here. Okay. Uh, okay. So, we will just say apply. And then uh, we will take one more processor where we will put file. So, we are taking from one place and putting a file into another place. Put, put file. Okay. So, I will click here now uh, double click this so in this again you will have a directory in the property section go here and give this uh, target directory okay so i will put it in this location so knife work area target csv file that is source csv file right so we'll apply here and we'll uh, connect this so we'll connect these two processor using uh, 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 this uh, uh, connection using uh, using connection we connect these two processor right now this process is ready so uh, settings you go and everything we just given here okay so apply here this is also set and directory is set already so you go here Okay, so now uh, both the processor are configured. Now we'll start. Okay, so we'll place one file before starting it. Say example, uh, we go to this place, right? So this is source location. I am I am into the uh, target location. Currently no file over here. So I'll just say uh, echo. I'll say uh, one not one. 
and name as her room and say city is living is Chennai so this is CSC file format so it's comma separator one this one line I one line I am putting I am putting into uh, uh, users into uh, this location this is the source location right I'll just say uh, uh, user uh, one dot CSV CSV okay so I'm placing here so let me check do a lesson check so we have one file over here let's do the cat of that file so so this is the file we placed in the source location so we want to we want to move this file into target location which is my current location okay now we'll we place the file and we'll go here and we'll start it so we'll start this processor and this processor okay so you see here uh, one file is moved so it is out one file is out so here one task is completed right so uh, so it, it says here two uh, running components is there okay so uh, use okay so let's go and verify so we see here target location the file has come user see this file has come you go and check in the uh, um, the source location the file is not there let's try to put one more file over here i'll say user 2.csv i'll say here 101 not two sorry or not two and say ROM so I'll just say immediately the CSV2 file has come here so we placed in the source location that's come here so if you see here C2 files are out here two tasks are completed so it's very quick so it, it works like a, a, a streaming application right the data streaming data pipeline as soon as the data comes to the source location it takes the the get processor picks the file and put it into the uh, gives to the target uh, uh, the the uh, the put uh, processor and it is it is writing into the target location okay so this is how the uh, you can build the simple data pipelines we can build the complex data pipelines as well so uh, so before uh, uh, this i will tell you how to save this so if you want to save this file okay so you can uh, save it as a template file so okay you can right click this okay so okay so what i can do is okay i will go here and say create template okay say this is uh, data flow data flow data flow it is for get and put file get and put file okay it is saved you can go and check in the global menu uh, uh, you can global menu what i can do is uh, that it is a template okay so you see here the templates if you want you can download this template and also if you want you don't want you can remove the template everything you can do so uh, so we saw in this video how to create a uh, simple uh, data flow uh, and also we are able to create as a template okay so in the next video we'll see how to process the json file because in this project i'm going to uh, as i told you i'm going to simulate the uh, ecms data or uh, uh, yeah, point of sale data from uh, any retail store or supermarket so for that we are going to uh, handle the uh, we are going to use an i5 for uh, building the simulator for the data and we are going to use uh, json because we are going to consume the data from the uh, REST API and uh, uh, do the, some uh, data uh, manipulation and we send it to the uh, uh, processing layer which is a Spark Structure Streaming and we'll do the, all the uh, analytics over there. Okay. Uh, thank you so much friends. Uh, see you in the next video.